Hello guys, welcome back. So, as I said in my last video, I will do a video about how to use the multi spinner as wraps and a little bit of review. So, let's jump back to the review. So, in my opinion, it is one of the best tools that you can use for arm wrestling. It's very versatile, you can take in on everywhere you go you can use it for a lot of things it will carry for a lot for the high hook for low hook everything it works your cup your grip your pronation and supination and you can also use side pressure or lateral drag now these are optional but I recommend using them so let's go to how you can use it in the waist based of the band itself so let's take it so how i build it so i take a pvc pipe and a little band the carabiner now you will obviously need a pulley system because without it you can so you can work on your post let's do a little bit of this on your post you can work you can work on your pronation a little bit of curling supination to get inside supination and with shoulder commitment and side pressure you can work on your ulnar flexion for the your low hand top roll and many other things now let's get to the very best reps so there are two extremely important reps two moderate rep reps let's see and two not that important reps i don't do it so i'll um, always start with the end at the bottom go back go and start with back Good. so end at the bottom i'll come in chop right where the strap will run across the back of my hand so i'll wrap just like so come come here here Come here. here. Good. So, across the back of my hand, under the thumb, so, yeah, and I'll always go for a little bit reset, pushing the thumb into position, regrouping, and then after that, I'll go and carry over the strap over my index finger and underneath my thumb and take it right like this and coming out of the top come closer right in line with my index finger and I'll take it just making sure it's in line with the wheel and I'll mostly drag and go to the side and apply shoulder commitment because in my opinion we want to be stronger in the sporting position so when we come and arm wrestle we are like this and we want to go let's say like this we don't want to have the most amount of strength here in this zone because by doing it from the front, that's where the most tension will be. We want to go like this and be the stronger here. So, right here. Because if you take someone else pronation and turn him palm up, then there's no way to get him back to neutral. So, wrapping it again and show you 
Guys, how is it? Working with a little bit of side pressure, in my opinion, gives a way better pump, and yeah, just like I said. So, just like this, just like this. So, yeah, I'm pumping and pumping and pumping. Now, in this wrap, formation will be almost always the limiting factor sometimes like in some pro level guys the cup will be weaker than the formation and yeah i recommend starting with relatively low weights come and show here there are 6.25 kilograms give it to me a little so one plate of 1.25 kilograms and two of 2.5 now this is just to demonstrate because I do with much more weights so yeah because it will shake up a little and we don't want that because it will definitely injure now the second big wrap which is or oh I forgot the high cup is in the pronation works best for your high hook and a very side based top row because by working it like this we are training to go for a very side top row but by going like this we prepare for a very dragging style top row and going like that so yeah now the second big wrap this is for drag hooking side crash short hooking pressing attic so yeah the strap will run again like this just under the thumb knuckle a little bit of re grip now in the case of the high cup i always did like this but in the case of the low cup i go for this so grabbing it by the top and instead of coming up i'll go low and grab i'll always fold the strap come here to show here so take it like this and see how i'll rotate it here zoom in a little zoom here so yeah like that and so see how the strap runs a little bit upwards this is what we want this will be for inside armor so again pull it go to the side and go a little bit more backward there good and just a basic connection to the body of copying and maintaining supination now for the multi spinner you don't necessarily need to squeeze and two, these two wraps will prepare you for strap point which is what you want and focus most of your energy to pull them now the two moderate wraps are will change setup just a little but it will make a huge difference so instead of having the end point down we have the end point up and we'll come like this take it come here and we run just the same across the back of my hand and let's see rotating and going like this and here we go now this I don't really use it only for mostly a little bit of rehab give me the phone so just like this I don't like using it like this but 
or sometimes I do it for repair. This is not really applicable to strap pulling, it's mostly to target a little bit more containment because it attacks the fingers and you have to squeeze it a little, but it will change the pressure a lot. So, coming again, now this time we need to go to dragging. I, as you might remember from the start of the video, I prefer to do them from the side, but to get a little bit more pump while going for a rehab, we need to target more of the shortened position to have more blood. So, go like this, so drag, push the thumb and go like this, so yeah, just like this. So this is the high cup with the on the red wrap. Now, if you feel that the one with the end point down hurt you, it's your wrist. I recommend trying with the end point up and see if it changes a little bit. If it don't, then you should stop using the multi spin. So yeah. Now let's go for the one with the end point down. So again, coming like this and going like this, regripping, going for the top part of the PVC pipe and coming like this and boom, here we go. So give it to me a little to show them. So just like this, just like this, come, keep it a little bit to show everybody so just like this we come like this and like this can you see so it's great it feels good but mostly for me yeah for, for your main workouts i don't recommend that so relax and basic connection to the scalp and try to maintain your finishing as all that you can you can go dynamically go for it maybe will give you a better part and yeah now the very worst strap you can use it's mostly if you want to pull outside of the straps so let's see so for the high we take the end point up and just wrap it like this rotate now it depends on how much finger pressure you want how much containment my containment is pretty great so i can go for a little bit more wrap so let me show you where is the wrist range here so let's see the wrist wrench the more you rotate it the more you wrap it the more you take it like this the more it will target the fingers which is very important for defending against a top roll attack or a hooking hooker we don't need that necessarily so basic connection wrap it a little bit more as you can see it's pretty thick pretty thick so yeah so to the side because yeah a little bit to the side and so yeah this is pretty hard I almost never used beta it, but I seen other people use it. It's not my like best wrap. I never use it. So yeah, this is for the pronation bit cupping, and this is for the supination based cupping. So wrap it again. 
and coming like this. Boom, 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 boom. So, just like that. Now, these wraps are only if you are an outside of the straps pool. Don't recommend them for everyone. Only for those with a really strong finger flexion containment because that's what will mostly be targeted because you can't really cup as much for these two less straps I recommend a smaller PVC pipe because this one has like wait a little to measure it so the diameter of this pipe is 5 centimeters and we can go for uh, 2 to 3 centimeters but that's not what we really need so yeah let's end the video because we've already finished the, with the multi spinner so yeah it's one of the best tools you can have I recommend building your own because it's very cheap to make and it's very expensive to buy from the site that you will find online and this like building your own one you can go with the right dimensions for your own hand and now let's see if you are in the heavyweight division we shall go for a bigger one that we could be like this, but if we will pull versus lightweight, or if our friends are very thin, we can go for this. Amen. But I recommend this is the most universal 5 cm multi spinner in diameter. So, one more bone tip go with the wireless because if you go for this this will cut in your hand when you wrap and we don't want that so yeah just finished my workout I'm gonna go for my rehab and then yeah I'll do whatever it needs eat hydrate because that's what you need to do after a workout I said that after I finish my workout I will go for showing how to use a multi spinner and things like that so this workout that I did like half an hour before it was about working the triceps the chest the shoulders which will in turn help me generate more side pressure because my inner elbow can take it because it's really strong for from the hook curves that I did uh, last Friday. So yeah, if you like the video, leave me a, a like, a subscribe, share it with one of your friends, enjoy watching it in my opinion, but yeah. Uh, check my father's YouTube channel his base channel I will put a card in the window and see you next time uh, I forgot to say next Friday that's when I it's time to post next Friday will be about the low cup multi spinner with press commitment showing you how much weight how uh, how much weight can I use like uh, last time it was 21 kilos and 70.5 that's how much it was mm. this time I will go for 22 I don't know uh, I didn't start a bit a very I don't know a very long time it's a 3 rep max maybe 4 if I want to but uh, let's say a 3 sub rep max very hard so yeah
Bye and see you.